Hello everyone and welcome to Miss Creative 47 YouTube channel. I'm going to show you how I going, I'm going to create more hair for her because I sometimes I get images like this where is no hair. I mean they have some but some of it cut off on the side or the top so I'm going to show you how to create hair for this particular um, image here if it's an afro sometimes you can do other hair you just have to be creative with your your shapes um this is business edition because it has the extra shapes off to the side here you have your default shapes here and then with the business edition you have additional shapes here so this is where we're going to be going when i get ready to create her hair so first i have to take the background away from her so i go over here to the right and this button right here some people say it looks like a piece of toast or butterfly or whatever this is what you're going to click so you're going to click on that and that brings this box up and then you're going to click on select trace area and your arrow going to change into a plus sign once you move it over to the left you're going to hold your left button down on your mouse and drag that trace window over. And I need to close this up. So I'm going to go over here to the threshold and just click. I just click in the box. And now all my the outline is all closed up. I don't have to worry about any of the images being pulled away from it. So I go ahead and click trace and detach. And I can move her away from that. And click that and delete. Now I notice she still has some stuff on the inside, so I'm gonna do trace and detach again. And I know some people do theirs a little bit different. I've been doing this since I've been using Silhouette. It works for me. I'm not gonna change. So I just drag it over in the spot that I want to keep, and I just do a trace. Move her to the side. Uh, click double uh, right click on the outline and do release compound and the only pieces that I want to keep and drag back over to my image is the ones that's shaped like the pieces here so this one goes here this one right here matches this one and set that there I think I probably need to tap it up with my arrow on my key and then this last one is this little piece right here and like I said this is how I do it people do it different ways so you find out what's comfortable for you and you do it the way you want to do it okay I'm just going to tap this one let me see if I can get it and tap it over okay so what I'm going to do is just drag my arrow over the image making sure that these boxes around the little pieces that I just added is highlighted you can see um, you can see it highlighted right here it's a box around it then I'm gonna just right click and do make compound path and it gets rid of those little pieces on the inside okay so now let's start to make I don't know why I keep stuttering uh, make the afro so I think I'm gonna keep it off the mat off the uh, page right there I'll bring her down some so now I'm getting ready to go to my shapes and I'm going to look for a shape. I think this shape will be okay so I just click on it and it turns into a plus sign and I just drag it like that and it's already black because I was working on something else so that's fine so I'm going to right click and convert to path then I'm going to go over here to the line style to, to get rid of that red outline. Or I can just go up here and click on it and it'll get rid of that. So you can either go here, go to the color style here and click on this little triangle. Or is that is it a triangle? No, that's a diamond shape. Or you can go here. And click on it here or you can just click on black okay so now what I want to do is just bring it down some to kind of sh shape her afro a little bit okay so I want to bring it in some more I don't want to cover her finger so I'll probably have to make it a little bit smaller 
Okay. So now we get ready to start. I can just get rid of that. Now I can start building. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to go up here. This is the uh, copy button. This is the paste button. Or you can right click and do the same thing. So I can right click, copy, right click again and paste. Or it's a shortcut that you can just keep doing it over and over. Or you can just keep doing this. <laughs> just keep clicking. And put it off to the side until you need it. Oops, I need you though. Okay. Get you out the way and you. Okay, we get ready to put that back here. I think, yeah, I think that's fine. And I'm just getting ready to build her hair out. Trying to make sure I stay, like, have it round. And we can adjust it after we, like, get it all together you might have to add some take some away but i'm just trying to get a feel of how i want it to look and you might see these white openings you can always add some later you know just put some right there so let's just build her up and it depends on how high you want her afro to go that's up to you and all i have to do is just go back over here and just keep clicking and I'm good. Okay, let's do this one here. And this one there. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I hope you still can see it. Okay. And you don't want it to be too even because hair is really not like that unless you get it cut like that. But for her, she's fine. Oops. Okay. I think I want to turn this. I guess turning it really doesn't make a difference because it's all the same way. I don't know. Okay. So let's keep going. So I'm going to go click that and paste it. I only did that because I'm, I want to bring it back up instead of going all the way down. So whatever you click on and then you save it, it's going to pop up where the last one was sitting at. And Okay, we're going to keep going and build her hair. Okay, and like I said, you see these white spots. We'll come back and just add some over top of that. Well, on top of it, not over top. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I say stuff crazy, but. Okay, all right. Okay. It's coming along. Coming along, do one more. I don't like the way this one is here. Um, okay, I just put another one here. Okay, I think push that in like that. This kind of look lopsided over here for some reason. I don't know. Maybe if I bring it down some. Yeah, that's starting to look better. And bring, bring this down. Maybe I bring this one over like that. Yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, so now I need to fill in these little white spots here. And all I have to do is just put pieces there. To cover that up like that. Okay, there go a spot there. Okay. Okay. Put one here. I just click twice so I can get two at the same time. All right. Okay. So there she is. 
so I'm just looking at her to make sure that I don't need to bring some in if it looks weird on one side and it do the other side but I think it's okay yeah I think it's okay I think I'll bring that down I think I want to do something with this something is not right um okay yeah maybe if I just bring it up there like that yeah that's much better and let me see what this one sits on yeah so that one's fine yeah okay so I want to make sure I don't have anything too close okay so that's how I created her some hair uh, and I, now I can just drag my arrow over it, all, everything right click and group and now she has an afro and you can put this on a t-shirt or whatever you want to do with it but I'm not going to do anything with it uh, because it's not mine clip art but I just want to show you if you have some clip art and you want to add some hair that's how I uh, figure out how to add some hair by looking at my shapes and stuff and see what's closest to uh, you creating this so if you like it please give me a thumbs up thank you for subscribing tell your friends to come subscribe to my channel and let's learn together I know it's been a while for me but I've been really busy but I'm going to pop in every now and then so stay tuned because you never know when I'm gonna pop in with a video so until then have a blessed and safe day may God bless you I'll see you in my next video